Hi, welcome to Baby Adventure. I have received feedback on issues with TPS sensor in SD Adventure. TPS sensor plays a key role in fuel injection and ignition timing. Here in SD Adventure, to check the TPS sensor, we need a stripped wire and a multimeter that is set to DC voltage 20. With the ignition on state and engine not started, we connect the positive wire of the multimeter to the copper wire which is connected to the TPS sensor connector pin 4 and negative is connected to the chassis ground. With the ignition on, the, when we roll the throttle open, the voltage in the multimeter should linearly vary from 0.5 volts to 4.5 maximum voltage in wide open throttle condition. You can watch in the video as I open the throttle and the closed throttle, the voltage is linearly varying. If there is any sudden spike in the voltage, it results in a faulty TPS sensor. Now I open the sensor covers on the both sides to remove the TPS sensor out for video purpose. So I remove the sensor cover holders with X4. You need not worry about the sensor cover holders as they have designated position and they have knobs too which makes our job easy while reassembling it. So every sensor has a connector which has a press and pull mechanism. It's not about strength, it is about technique. Using a star screw, we will remove the two screws connected to the TPS sensor. And slowly pull the TPS sensor out. Here in SD Adventure, the TPS sensor is integrated with the MAF sensor which lies in that cavity that is called manifold air pressure sensor which works on piezoelectric sensor which sends a signal voltage to the ECU on information about the air flow and mass. As I look into the TPS sensor, there is a cavity which indicates it is a Hall effort TPS sensor which is a contactless one. Here we have five pins. One has a common ground and two acts. Two pins act as five voltage, reference voltage, and other two act as a signal voltage. And that is a magnet thing and that is a cavity. Cavity is for map sensor. Magnet is for TPS sensor. The magnet is connected to the throttle plate. When we roll the throttle, the throttle plate or butterfly wall is rotated. Thus magnet is rotated. A rotated magnet results in change in magnetic field which is identified by the Hall effort sensor in TPS sensor. Sends a Hall voltage to the ECU. We place the sensor cover holders back again. Here is the procedure you have to do. Strip the copper wire. Remove the TPS port, insert the copper wire in pin 4 and insert the connector into the port of TPS sensor. So the positive of the multimeter should be connected to the copper wire. When the ignition on, in idle state, it should show 0.5 volt. As I said, the negative should be connected to the chassis ground. It can also be connected to the ground of the TPS port as it is difficult I connected to the chassis ground. Now I turn the ignition on in idle state it should show 0.5 volt. As I roll the throttle open it should linearly vary to the maximum of 4.5 volt at wide open throttle. As I roll the throttle back it should linearly decrease. A sudden spike in voltage results in a faulty TPS sensor. Now we will see how did I arrive at the fourth pin as a TPS sensor, reference voltage and signal voltage pins. The port or the connector has five wires. First wire is common ground and second wire is reference voltage 5 volts. The third wire is map sensor signal voltage and the fourth wire is TPS sensor signal voltage and fifth wire is reference voltage 5 volts. As it is integrated with TPS sensor and MAP sensor, it has a common ground. You need not do this procedure, but for clarity, I have removed the connector out. You can see the change in the voltage with respective wires. Green wires has 5 volt, 
and the purple is for the common ground and orange is a map sensor signal voltage and sky blue is for the TPS sensor signal voltage. That is how you check the TPS sensor in SD Adventure. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe for Baby Adventure. So please like the video and share if you find the information valuable. If you happen to glow the small function light on, it will go away after riding a few kilometers. I will be back with a video about DB Killer and Rare Whale Tire Remover.